Hello and welcome to today's episode which deals with the meaning and characteristics of entrepreneurship. It will also tell you the difference between an entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. I am Sakshi Mandwal and the subject expert for this lecture is Dr. Arshia Hussain, teaching in the Center for Management Studies, Chamia Millia Islamia University, New Delhi. Today we will take a broad overview of the concept of entrepreneur. The word entrepreneur is derived from the French word entreprendre, which means to undertake. That is the person who undertakes the risk of starting a new enterprise. An entrepreneur may be defined as a person who combines all the factors of production with the purpose of producing a valuable product for a price. According to Cantillon, an entrepreneur is a person who buys factor services at certain prices with a view to selling its product at uncertain prices. Thus, to Cantillon, an entrepreneur is a bearer of risk which is non-insurable. Some important definitions. According to F.A. Walker, entrepreneur is one who is endowed with more than average capacities in the task of organizing and coordinating the factors of production, that is land, labor, capital and enterprise. According to Max Weber, Entrepreneurs are a product of particular social condition in which they are brought up and it is a society which shapes individuals as entrepreneurs. International Labour Organization defines entrepreneurs as those people who have the ability to see and evaluate business opportunities together with the necessary resources to take advantage of them and to initiate appropriate action to ensure success. According to Peter F. Drucker, an entrepreneur is one who always searches for change, responds to it and exploits it as an opportunity. Innovation is the basic tool of entrepreneurs, the means by which they exploit change as an opportunity for a different business or service. An entrepreneur is considered to be the most important crucial factor in economic progress. He generates new ideas, identifies and mobilizes potential resources and thereby produces new products. However, to be successful, an entrepreneur should possess the following characteristics. Initiation. An entrepreneur should have an ability to initiate things. They have a desire to achieve higher goals. According to the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, that is EDI, given the demand of the situation, the entrepreneur takes initiation to start an industry. Risk bearing. Entrepreneurs are the persons who have the capacity and willingness to assume risk. They should take decisions under uncertainty and thus bear risk involved in the business. Independence. An entrepreneur is an independent person and prefers to be his own boss. He prefers to be responsible for his own decisions. Information seeker. An entrepreneur is a person who is ready to learn from the experience of others and enriches his business information to help him reach the goal. Self-confidence. An entrepreneur is a person who believes in his strengths and weaknesses. Flexibility. An entrepreneur should be flexible enough to adjust his decisions according to the changing situation. Successful entrepreneurs are willing to accept change. They are the persons with open mind without rigidity. Analytical ability of mind. An entrepreneur must have an ability to analyze the realistic approach towards their business. Successful entrepreneurs avoid emotional and sensitive attitudes towards their business. They are not affected by their personal likes and dislikes. Interpersonal skills. Since entrepreneurs have to deal with the number of people such as raw material suppliers, customers, bankers and others, they must have the skills to deal with the people at all levels. An entrepreneur has to perform the following functions. Risk taking. Risk taking and uncertainty. This is one of the principal functions of an entrepreneur. It involves doing something which you know might have unpleasant consequences. The risk can be of two types. Firstly, there are some risks such as fire, loss of goods, in transit, etc. which can be insured against and an entrepreneur can avoid these risks by getting them insured and paying premium for them. The second type of risks are those which cannot be insured against and have to be borne by the entrepreneur. This type of risk is termed as uncertainty. 
a producer produces goods in anticipation of demand for these goods but in modern dynamic economies demand and cost condition keeps on changing due to various reasons similarly supply and cost conditions may also change due to change in techniques of production and taxation policies by the government these changes are difficult to anticipate and therefore an entrepreneur may incur losses innovation shampeter considered innovation as the most important function of entrepreneur the entrepreneur is the innovator who introduces something new into the economy innovation includes anything that increases demand at lower cost of production an entrepreneur may introduce a new product may improve the old product may use new methods of production or new or cheaper source of raw material organization and management Alfred Marshall recognized organization and management of the entrepreneur as the main function of an entrepreneur. It implies bringing together the various factors of production. The purpose is to allocate the productive resources in order to minimize losses and reduce cost of production. In the initial stage of the establishment of an enterprise, the entrepreneur may take all decisions by itself. But as the enterprise grows and the work of decision making becomes more complex, the entrepreneur delegates authority to subordinates. He selects the plant site and the plant size. He arranges raw material, machinery and finance. Thus, as an organization builder, the entrepreneur must assemble and organize all factors of production in the best possible way so as to achieve operational efficiency. Entrepreneurship is the process of identifying opportunities in the marketplace, mobilizing the resources required to pursue these opportunities and investing the resources to exploit the opportunities for the achievement of organizational objectives. It is a goal-oriented process which involves production and distribution of goods and services. According to Higgins, entrepreneurship is meant the function of seeking investment and production opportunity. organizing an enterprise to undertake a new production process raising capital hiring labor arranging the supply of raw materials finding site introducing a new technique discovering new sources of raw materials and selecting top managers for day to day operations of these enterprise The following entrepreneurial traits have been developed by John Horaday of Wapson College: self-confidence and optimistic, energy and diligence, ability to take calculated risks, creativity, flexibility, positive response to challenges, dynamism, leadership, ability to get along with people, responsiveness to suggestions, responsiveness to criticism, knowledge of market, resourcefulness need to achieve initiative independence foresight profit orientation optimism versatility knowledge of product and technology entrepreneurship is a set of activities performed by an entrepreneur however the term entrepreneur is used synonymously with the term entrepreneurship but they are different in their meaning and connotation the relationship and difference between entrepreneur and entrepreneurship is as follows distinction between entrepreneur and entrepreneurship entrepreneur is a person entrepreneurship is a process entrepreneur is an initiator entrepreneurship refers to initiative entrepreneur is a risk taker entrepreneurship is risk taking entrepreneur is an innovator Entrepreneurship is a process of innovation. Entrepreneur is a decision maker. Entrepreneurship is a process of decision making. Entrepreneur is a risk taker. Entrepreneurship refers to risk taking. Entrepreneur is a planner. Entrepreneurship is a process of planning. Entrepreneur is a motivator. Entrepreneurship refers to motivation. accepting challenges entrepreneurship means accepting risk and challenges in the situation of uncertainty
While accepting entrepreneurship as a career, the entrepreneur accepts the challenges and risk in undertaking a project. An entrepreneur puts all his efforts to convert the odds into possible business opportunities by mobilizing the resources for building and running the enterprise. Risk taking. Risk taking or risk bearing is one of the important characteristics of entrepreneurship. It means assuming the responsibility for loss that may occur due to unforeseen contingencies of the future. An entrepreneur, by his deep analytical ability and scientific approach, analyzes the situation objectively and reduces the risk considerably on one hand and enhances the profit factor on the other. Organization building. Another characteristic of entrepreneurship is organization building. It is the most important skill needed for entrepreneurship as it facilitates the economic use of other innovations. A successful organization is the result of effective entrepreneurship. An entrepreneur, by using effective leadership and delegation of authorities, builds up the organization. Managerial skills. Another important characteristic of entrepreneurship is skillful management. An entrepreneur has to effectively manage the enterprise by initiating new designs and by making improvements in the existing and upcoming projects. Entrepreneurship is a process of identifying the opportunities. Innovation. Innovation is one of the most important characteristics of entrepreneurship. An entrepreneurship is a process of doing things in a new and better way. Entrepreneurship and innovation are the two sides of the same coin. An entrepreneur is always engaged in innovating something new and assuming risk by decision making under uncertainty. Mobilization of resources. Entrepreneurs have the capability of mobilizing the resources. They utilize the resources in the most economical way which is useful to the society. An entrepreneur perceives, identifies and pools the resources effectively for achieving organizational goals. Difference between entrepreneur and enterprise. An entrepreneur is a person where his enterprise is the business or organizational unit. An entrepreneur is a risk taker while enterprise is the business unit involving risk and uncertainty. An entrepreneur is a decision maker whereas an enterprise is a business unit which provides a framework within which decisions concerning what to produce, how much to produce, where to produce are taken by the entrepreneur. An entrepreneur produces and sells the product whereas an enterprise implies production of goods and services by the interrelation of functions and staff primarily for the purpose of making or selling product or service. An entrepreneur procures raw materials and other inputs for production, whereas enterprise utilizes the raw materials and other inputs in the process of production. Classification of entrepreneurs. In the present day, various types of entrepreneurs are found engaged in various types of activities. They are found in variety of activities such as industrial, agricultural and commercial activities in different sectors. The entrepreneurs working in industrial sector, service sector and business sectors are technically called as ISP sectors. According to Dan Hoff, entrepreneurs are classified into following categories. Innovating entrepreneurs. It is characterized by aggressive assembling of information and the analysis of the results derived from sound combination of factors. An innovating entrepreneur seeks the opportunity for introducing a new technique or a new product or a new market. He should raise funds to launch entrepreneur, assemble the various factors, choose top executive and set the organization going. Such entrepreneurs are very much helpful for their country as they bring about a transformation in lifestyle by bringing innovation. These entrepreneurs are mostly found in developed countries. Such entrepreneurs can emerge at work only when a certain level of development already has been achieved and people look forward to change and progress. Imitative entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs are those who imitate the existing entrepreneurs and set up their enterprise in the same manner. These entrepreneurs imitate the technology and techniques innovated by innovating entrepreneurs. Such types of entrepreneurs are also known as adoptive entrepreneurs. 
these entrepreneurs are very much helping in less developed countries as they contribute significantly in the growth of enterprise and entrepreneurial culture in these countries. They also generate employment opportunities for countries and therefore they are treated as the agent of the economic development. Fabian Entrepreneurs these entrepreneurs are very cautious and very much skeptical in their approach in adopting or innovating new technology in their enterprise. They are very shy and lazy and lack the will to adopt new methods. They are not easily adoptable to the changing environment. They prefer to remain in the existing businesses with the age-old technique of production. They imitate changes only when it becomes a must for their survival. Drone Entrepreneurs these entrepreneurs are those who behave in a monotonous way. These entrepreneurs are conservative or orthodox in outlook. They refuse to adopt and use opportunities to make changes in production. They continue to operate in their traditional way and resist changes. They are comfortable with their traditional technology of production, even though the environment as well as the society have undergone considerable changes. Thus, Drone entrepreneur refuses to adopt the changes and stick to conventional products and ideas. Entrepreneur by inheritance. These are the people who become entrepreneur when they inherit family business. In India, there are a large number of family control business house firms. These business houses are passed on from common generation to another generation. Technological entrepreneurs. With the decline of joint family business and the rise of scientific and technological institution, technologically qualified people have entered the field of business. These entrepreneurs may enter business to commercially exploit their invention and discoveries. Forced entrepreneurs. Many persons become entrepreneurs on account of the circumstances. Unemployed persons without a job or persons with comparatively low educational background enter into the field of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs of this category are called forced entrepreneurs. Institutional entrepreneurs. Such entrepreneurs are needed and developed to handle the complex process of decision making, large scale organizations in the matters of finance, investment of capital and marketing of products. Women entrepreneurs. A group of women who initiate, organize, and operate a business enterprise are called women entrepreneurs. Following are the barriers due to which many entrepreneurs fail to succeed. Lack of viable concepts, lack of market knowledge, lack of technical knowledge, lack of seed capital, lack of business know-how, lack of motivation, lack of social system, lack of time pressures and distractions, legal constraints and regulations, inhibitions due to patents. Entrepreneurship is the process by which other new ventures are born within the organization. In the words of Bergelman, it is the process of extending the firm's domain of competence and corresponding opportunity set through internally generated new resource combinations. An entrepreneur is an independent businessman, whereas an entrepreneur is semi-dependent on the owners of the corporation. An entrepreneur raises their funds on his own initiative, whereas an entrepreneur depends upon the industry in which he works for getting the finance. An entrepreneur operates from outside of an organization, whereas the entrepreneur operates from within the organization. An entrepreneur is the real owner of the business, whereas entrepreneur is not the real owner of the business, rather he works for the business. An entrepreneur converts the ideas of entrepreneur into feasible opportunities, whereas entrepreneur takes the responsibility of creating innovation of any kind from within the organization. Let us throw some light now on the theories of entrepreneurship. Different writers have developed various theories on entrepreneurship and popularized the concept among the common people. Theories have been categorized on the basis of social factor, cultural factor, economic factor and psychological factor. The popular theories of entrepreneurship are as follows. Sociological theories. Sociological theories explain how various sociological factors influence the growth of entrepreneurship. Various sociological theories are Max Weber's theory of religious belief, Kocherin's theory of entrepreneurial supply, 
Hagen's theory of social change. This theory was propounded by Max Weber. He believed that entrepreneurship is a function of religious belief and the impact of religion affects the entrepreneurial culture. He emphasized that energies of an entrepreneur are exogenous and supplied by means of religious belief. The theory propounded by Thomas Cotteron highlights the sociological aspect of entrepreneurial supply. Based on the principle that the fundamental problems of economic development are non-economic, Cotteron emphasized on the cultural values, role expectation and social sanctions as the main elements that determines the entrepreneurial supply in any society. Everett E. Hagen propounded a theory of social change. The theory emphasized that a continuing technical progress can transform a traditional society. The theory assumes entrepreneurial creativity as the key element of social transformation and economic growth. Economic theories explain the relationship between the economic development and entrepreneurship. They explain how economic development and entrepreneurship are complementary and supplementary to each other. The following are the important economic theories. Schumpeter's theory of innovation, David McClellan's theory of achievement, Leibenstein's theory of ex-efficiency. Let us quickly summarize what we have learned today. We have learned the definition of entrepreneurship, its functions and its characteristics. We have learned that entrepreneurship is a set of activities performed by an entrepreneur. It is a process of identifying opportunities in the marketplace, mobilizing the resources required to pursue these opportunities and investing the resources to exploit the opportunities for the achievement of organizational objectives. An entrepreneur may be defined as a person who combines all the factors of production with the purpose of producing a valuable product for a price. An entrepreneurship is characterized with the ability to initiate risk-bearing independence, information seeker, self-confidence, flexibility, analytical ability of mind, interpersonal skills. We have also learned that there are different types of entrepreneurs which are classified as innovative entrepreneurs, Fabian entrepreneurs, dronish entrepreneurs and imitative entrepreneurs. That is all that we had for you today. Hope you have understood the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. We'll see you again with another topic in the next episode. Till then, take care and goodbye. Thank you.